But it was interesting because um, one of the first people I think I met was Ron, uh, Ron Howard. And, um, and the ironic thing there was that as a kid, I was about, I'm about the same age as Ron and red hair and, and I had very similar... I used to be called Opie by kids, by friends when I was, you know, when I was like eight, nine years old. I looked a lot like Ron did back then and, and people called me Opie. So it was so weird for me when I, here I was getting my first big, big show and here I was going to be working with Ron who had obviously played Opie. So, you know, when I first saw him, I was all excited and I, and I was telling him all about it. He didn't know who I was and he was probably looking at me like, who is this guy, you know? But... I mean, we ultimately became great friends, and um, so I met, I think Ron was the first person I met, and then, you know, I started meeting the rest of the cast, and I remember shooting the pilot just feeling, obviously I was excited, but, but I don't know, I felt that there was a, a terrific grouping of, of talented people, that I was, I was feeling on a gut level really good about the chemistry and what I was seeing, and I remember talking to my, you know, parents and I was telling them this and they were probably thinking oh it's just wishful thinking like oh yeah this is really going to be good but I don't know I really ha I, f I felt like there was great chemistry and I remember uh, it might have been that first day when we shot in front of the drive-in and it was Henry and Anson and Ron and myself and we have this photo that we took and I think it's one of my favorite shots it's a black and white shot of the four of us in front of the drive-in it was the first day of the pilot and um and it really captures uh, something when you, when I look at that picture, the feeling we had. You know, everyone everyone was, we were all very serious. Um, people look back and they go, maybe it looked like we were having a lot of fun, which we were. But they thought maybe, you know, we were just sort of goofing off and having a good time and it all worked. But these were all very serious actors that took the, took the work very seriously. And, 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 and we were really intent on making this something. And, and uh, you know, it just... It, it just kept growing. The, the, from, from, of course, you shoot the pilot, and you don't know if you're ever going to see the light of day. And um, so, you know, we did that, and then we just, you know, stepped back and waited to see where the chips would fall. And, uh, you know, and it happened pretty quick for, for that show. You know, in the beginning, uh, as you mentioned, the show was shot one camera, sort of like a film, and... and um, we we were moderately successful the first year because it was new and and um, you know it caught on but we weren't huge and then it got to the point where in our second season when we were still shooting one camera ratings were not that great we were sort of marginal as to whether we would even uh, continue but then after we switched into the three camera format because at that time all the hot comedy shows were three camera all in the family Maud Good Times was coming on. So when we switched, um, and then it also, a big element that, that uh, became incorporated was that Henry, Henry's character, the Fonz, became much more prominent. Than in the beginning, he, was, he and myself were more peripheral characters. We both started to get incorporated more and more, and where we were really part of the gang. And then Henry, of course, even more so, because... Henry became huge in that third season. When they made him, they had to move in to the Cunningham household, and then just shooting it in front of an audience changed the quality of the show. It became a little bit bigger, a little bit broader, a little bit more theatrical because you're shooting it that way, and and it, it, that all seemed to seem to work. And we had some great scripts in those. My feeling in those first two years of three camera, we had some really terrific scripts and it all just took off at that point and then you know you go outside and you recognize I mean your life changes like you know it's like being in the twilight zone all of a sudden you know you have a new identity and um, it's it's pretty it's 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 heady stuff because it sounds it's fun on one level but you know it, it also it, you're not trained how to deal with that and nobody is and it, and it it puts you through some some uh, interesting changes, you know, so I had to deal with that and come to terms with that.